Good morning, friends. I am here because I get asked a lot what beauty counter makeup I use. And so I very rarely wear makeup because I just, the beauty counter skincare has done so much for my face that I don't typically need it. Um, which is very unusual because I had all my life previously, like really acne prone skin, just terrible skin to begin with. So I'm going to go through with you this morning, my makeup regimen when I do wear it. So first, our Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This stuff has built-in SPF and it has a hydrating component added to it as well. So I usually just put like a little pump on my cheek, a little pump on my cheek, just like half pumps on my face. You can kind of see here. And then I take a foundation brush and I just circle it in. One of the things you don't want to do, my aunt told me this actually, she's been a beautician for a million years, um, is that you don't want to just pull down like this because that actually can cause trouble with skin elasticity and can make your face sag sooner than it would normally. So then I just get a good coat here, real light coat. I don't wear a lot because I don't like the feeling of a lot. And this stuff's really good too for the summer in case you feel like you're melting. So there's my base of my skin twin. Or my dew skin. I'm sorry, my skin twin's my foundation. My dew skin. Um to moisturizer. God bless America. If I need it, which today I don't really have any spots I'm super worried about, I would use my concealer. I have one little one here. I'll take care of real quick. And then I just put like the world's smallest dab. And then blend it a little. And then there we go. I also use this sometimes as a highlighter because you can use it like under your eyes to lift your eyes. So here, I'll show you. Because who doesn't always have bags under their eyes? Hey, Ryan. What's up, girl? So then I just blend it a little bit with the same brush. You can also use your finger if you really want to. But as long as you've got good clean brushes, they usually tend to blend just a bit better. Um, but you don't want to use any brush that hasn't been cleaned recently, especially near your eyes. Okay. What are you and Colby up to today? I just love that kid. You have no idea how much I love her picture. She's so damn cute. I can't take it. Anyway, so there's that piece here. So, so far I've used my Dew Skin um, Tinted Moisturizer and my concealer. Make sure that's closed up real good. What, sweetheart? Get us in the tub. So then this one here is our Pearl Glow Illuminator. Pearl Glow Illuminator. And I'm just gonna do again right here under my eyes a little bit. Right up through here. And then I'm just gonna kinda pat that in a little bit. I'm not gonna do anything real severe with that because I just want it to kinda sit right there underneath my eyes. This gives a little bit of an illumination here. Nothing significant. I shouldn't say significant, but like nothing overbearing. So you can always kind of adjust as you need to. That's not blending very well right there. There we go, that's a little better. All right, but if you start it from the beginning, you can definitely see the difference that I've got on my eyes. So again, that's the Pearl Glow Illuminator. Just to bring up some, some color here. Um, next up, I'm gonna start on my eyes. My new eyeshadows are not here yet, which sucks because I would love to show you those. What, honey? Okay, then go. Sorry, y'all. My daughter's taking a bath, and that's the second time she said she's had to go poop, so my apologies. Anyway, so this has, um, I love this one. This is our um, Color Outline Eye Pencil. I have it in black, but what I love about it is, obviously you have your sharp pencil, but you also have the smudge brush on the end. This is super helpful to help clear it up or to smudge it in if you're doing like a smoky look. So then, um, okay, bear with me while I do this because I'm looking into my phone to do this, okay? And um, I haven't worn makeup in a, little, in a hot minute. So let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Quickly bring you guys a little closer to me here. There we go. So I am historically, I am a 90s kid, so I am one of those ones that wears it on the bottom lid too. No matter how cool that that isn't anymore, I don't really care. So there we go, just a small layer at the top. And then clean it up here a little bit, okay. And then I have, I don't know why I think this looks so good still, because it's totally out of fashion, but I don't give a shit. So, if you like to wear your eyeliner like this, you must use Beauty Counter because it's clean, no harmful ingredients, and it won't affect your eyes because using cheap shit on your eyes is asking for trouble. My mom works for an ophthalmologist and she has for the past like 12 years. 
And they talk about like the maggots that can get into your eyelids and stuff because, or into your eyelashes because of people not washing their makeup off, people using shitty products, and it's freaking terrifying. So, um, anyway, this one's always my hardest because I have to adjust my arm. So let's hope so, make sure I don't screw this up too bad. So you might be thinking, Jessica, you said you never wear makeup. Why are you putting it on today? Well, two reasons. One, I want to show you what it looks like because I've been getting a lot of questions about the products that I use. And second, um, because today, you all know that we lost all three of our pugs in the last couple months, right? Which has been just unbelievable. Um, we're set up to get a boxer puppy named Raya. And I love this dog so much I can't take it. My aunt, who might be watching this at some point, Tina, God damn you. Sorry, y'all. My language. Um, posted a picture of these two little pug sisters, Lily and, Lila, and Lilo. They were both three years old that need a home. And y'all know our... What? Okay, clean up and get back in the tub. Um, y'all know our heart goes to pugs, right? So, anyway, we're going to meet them today to see about being their potential new owners. So, a lot of people applied for these dogs, according to the comments. A lot of people are interested in them, obviously, because pugs are... Full-bred pugs are, like, a $5,000 puppy. They're super expensive to get. And they don't end up in rescues very often because pugs are hysterical dogs. If you're not familiar with them, the personality that a pug has is absolutely ridiculous. Here's all three of mine. Um, but, so we're going to meet them today. And my husband did the application. And he's like, I kind of rushed through it. And I'm like, well, that's a surefire way for us to not get selected. So I reached out. He, I don't think he understand or understood at least until that point. Like the applications, how they make their decisions. So if you don't put a lot of detail and understanding into it, then it's not going to do much. Anyway, he, um, he, um, we're going to, I'm connected with the foster mom and we're going to go meet them this morning. So I figure it might be good to just make a good impression. So anyway, there's my eyeshadow. What honey? Don't come in here. I'm on live. Come here. Come over to this side. Can I? Make sure you're not visible. Stay over here. Come right over here. Because I don't want you to be visible here. Turn around. Oh, baby girl. Mommy. Turn around. All right, turn around. Or I slipped and now I got some on the bathroom floor and my foot. Poop? Okay, go throw this in the trash. Get a wipe and wipe it up, okay? Ew. Stay to this side of the video. Okay. Oh, guys, the things you deal with as a parent, right? Anyway, so the next piece of what I'm going to do is going to, is what I really want you all to see. The new all-in-one mascara. So lengthening and volumizing. All-in-one. Fantastic. Let's do this shit. Ha. I feel like I'm too far away from you all to see this. In true action. Maybe you can tell better from the bottom. Just because of the lighting in here. Look at that, guys. And I got my eyeshadow, or my eyeliner out kind of high. Okay, so then I'm going to do this eye. Y'all, you're my kid in the tub. She's cracking me up. If you're one of those people who can do your mascara without pulling your face down like this, then I commend you. Okay. There you go, now you can tell a little better. Yeah, this stuff's amazing. Anyway, so that's the new mascara. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish it out today with Beauty Counter. This is the Fig Beyond Gloss, I believe. I get the glosses mixed up sometimes, but ooh, pulled a lot out that way. So let's see how this works. I don't usually like stuff on my lips, so we're going to try this out. I like this color, though. I like that color a lot. Let's see if this ends up being sticky, because that's usually my biggest problem with these. You can tell I haven't tried this one yet. If 
you here with me, tell me good morning, tell me what you're up to today. Let's chat. Okay, so that's the fig beyond gloss. Okay, beautiful. And then I will do just a tad because I actually have like pretty full brows on my own. But this is our medium brow gel. I didn't do eyeshadow today because my new ones aren't in, so I'm just keeping it as kind of a dark for today. I'm just going to give this just a little bit to come through here. I need an eyebrow wax, so. It actually adds a pretty good amount of color and fill. I like that. So there's the, you can kind of see the comparison between the two. There's the comparison. And this is just the medium. It's a pretty good fill. Nothing overwhelming though. I like that it's not leaving like a ton of residue either. Okay. So then that is what I would do for the day. And so then like with my hair back or something, it would look much better. My hair's not done yet. So there's that. But recap for those of you joining, because a lot of people have asked me what beauty counter makeup I use. So I forgot to show you. I also have the skin twin foundation for from wanting more coverage. But today I did my do skin. This is the Scented Moisturizer. And the color that I use is light. Um, the good thing about the, the Skin Twin, or the Dew Skin, is that it works for up to three shades up or three shades down, because it blends well. And then I use the Pearl Illuminating Stick, just a little bit here right underneath my eyes to add a little bit of illumination. I use just a small tad of concealer underneath my eyes, um, also in shade light. I use the Beyond Gloss Fig for the lips. It's not as sticky as a tra traditional gloss. I wouldn't wear it if it was, so um, that's always a bonus. The new Almond One Mascara, lengthening and volumizing. Our eyebrow pencil in black. I like to use black on the top and the bottom, even though I know that's not cool anymore. You 90s kids, or you um, 1000s kids and 2010s kids can shut it. Um, I'll keep my side part, my skinny jeans, and my uncool eyeliner. Anyway, I get this in black. I like it, like I said, because it has that, but it also has the smudge brush and the cleanup brush that you can use. And the last thing I use today is the brow gel. And I think this is medium. Yeah, in medium. So just kind of fill in a little bit. So once my hair is done, it'll look a lot better. I didn't need any kind of full coverage today, so I just kind of left it on a dew skin because this is also really nice in the summer. It's not as heavy. Like, it literally doesn't feel like anything but lotion on your skin. It has built-in SPF, and it has, um, like, a moisturizer built into it. So it's really good for your skin. It's really good for, like, everything. So, anyway, that's what my normal makeup routine looks like in the event that I am wearing makeup. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions about any kind of beauty care or, um, beauty counter makeup products just let me know i'm happy to help you i'm happy to color match you um and help you get through some of that later this week you're gonna see a video with me showing off the new um eyeshadows because all the new cream eyeshadows just launched i got one in every color coming so i will show you those i think they're supposed to drop tomorrow so um drop off tomorrow so i think depending on what time they get in it'll be tomorrow or tuesday that i'll go live and show you all the fun colors in that and we'll do some playing around with it in my um eyes as well so Anyway, hope this was helpful for you. If there's any questions that you have for me about Daddy, beauty counter, skincare, or makeup, just let me know in the comments. Have a great Ready. and fantastic day.